Diaper recently changed, still no rash. <laughs> Meg has consumed a half a bottle of milk. Two burps, straight back to sleep. She sleeps so well. Barbara's gonna think you don't trust her. <laughs> oh, really, really, lighten up. We have to take advantage of this. Isn't it nice to get a break? Yeah. So I, I guess you worry a lot then, huh? He worries enough for oh. both of us. We worry a lot, we love her a lot, and it's very nice to be out among adults, yes? Speak for yourselves. Well, I know what you mean. I mean, <laughs> listen, the, my boys, our boys, aren't even here, and, and I feel very close to them. I mean, they can't get much closer. <laughs> well, <laughs> even when they are here, I'm, I'm never going to want to spend any time away from them. So. <laughs> Let me hear you say that in two years. We will. Right. No, you I, won't. I'm not missing one second of their lives. No way. All right, I've had it. All four of us are going to dance. Let's <laughs> We'd be delighted. Take her away. <laughs> Something you haven't told me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen my wife? Yeah. You can't possibly be serious. Just say, no, t tell me that this is not true, please. It's the gospel. Amanda Spaulding was, uh, she, what, ran a, ran a brothel in Malibu, California? <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. It's not funny. Yes, it's it is, not. actually. No, it's, it's actually, it's hysterical. It's hysterical, yes, I agree. <laughs> Uh. Mm -hmm. oh, um, uh, now look, we have uh, got to stop uh, doing this. Uh, I got, I gotta go. I forgot to do something at the hospital. Go. I don't think the party's over uh, yet. I'll be back. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Pampers Premium, the best way to pamper your baby. You make a move like that again, I'll place you under... You a have no right to touch anybody's property without a search warrant. We don't need one if we have just cause. The letter I got from Hart said he feared for his life at your hands. Not to mention that you're driving around in a rented pickup truck with a coffin at the back telling us now that you're bird watching with your wife at night and trespassing. Okay, listen, Roger, maybe we should go down to the station with them and answer the their questions there. The hell I will. I want them to leave me alone until they get themselves a search warrant. Well, you know what, folks? We're not going anywhere until I find out why you won't let us know what's in the Well, we're going to be here a long time then, okay? okay? Roger, really, we should just go with them. I'll call Leo. We can settle it quickly downtown. No, hey, hey! We're going to start going in! Down, down. Down. Ah, take it easy. Ah. Tyler, if you have any knowledge whatsoever of a crime being committed here or anywhere else, you better come clean right now. Make because if we arrest him for anything, I swear to you, you'll be held as an accomplice. Tell us what you know. Easy. Listen, uh, I don't know anything. There is nothing to tell. I am not hiding anything. My husband hasn't done anything wrong. Clara, check it out. No, I'll have your badge for that. I'm going to have my nightstick on your face if you don't take it easy. See what all this fuss is about. Did I miss something? Stop. Stop what, Abby? You don't need to buy me drinks. Hospital data entry clerks make a salary. Uh, Abby, Abby, don't worry about it. No, no, Abby, no, 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 Abby, Abby, the drinks are free. Oh, oh, I see. That's okay. Can I, can I still get you something to, to drink? If you want to, yes. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Abby. Hi. I'm Blake Marler. Right. Right. You're Rick's friend. I remember. Yeah. I just saw the two of you together just now. You make a, a nice couple. 
We're not a couple. No, no. We're, we're just friends. I mean, I live with him in his house. I live in his house. We're only friends. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Are you sure there's not more to it than oh, that? Well, no. I mean, well, I thought at one time there could be, and we talked about it. I don't know why I'm telling you this. We didn't. We're friends. Oh. Okay. I just was wondering, I mean, do you look at all your friends the way I saw you looking at Rick? <laughs> well, you know, I'm... I'm deaf, and I read lips and I'm sorry. a little fast. I saw you looking at each other. I mean, well, I'm good at this, you know. When you thought the other person wasn't looking, then I saw you looking at him. Oh, right. Him looking at, at you. Rick was looking at me like that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. I, I, are you sure about this relationship? I mean, maybe it's, it's not really settled. Well, we talked about it, and it didn't work. Well, maybe it was a matter of timing. Timing is supposed to be everything, right? Well, you shouldn't let a setback like that stop you. Do you want... Do you want my advice on Rick Bauer? Ross? Hey, Hi. Hi. Have you seen my wife? No, not lately. Uh, I have. Uh, you know that great old tree off the patio with the bench around? Yeah. Yeah, she's out there with Josh Lewis. Well, Amanda Spaulding has certainly changed since we were business partners. There's no question about that. But you still feel like you want to protect her, even though revealing her... Well, what she did may help me and Buzz and fit straight. If it were only Amanda's reputation at stake, you know, something I might not care about it. But it involves other people, people that I care about. Well, who? I mean, where, where is this coming from? Straight from the horse's mouth, Amanda Spaulding herself. Oh, so you still believed her? I mean, even as desperate as she was, you, you still believe her? We've... It, Well, Hi. hello there, you. And you. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful evening. <clears throat> Great tree. Uh, Josh asked me out here because he has some very important information. I'm sure he did. It's about Amanda. I think we're going to have to rethink the whole thing. Why? We got over a barrel. Well, it turns out that uh, what we want to do may hurt more people than we originally thought. It's all right, Annie. It's all right. It's a prescription. You're not abusing it. It's for your headaches. That's all. I just need something to help me. Oh, it's at least a three-pill migraine here. I don't really understand all the details, but Amanda Spaulding told me that if you reveal this thing you know about her, this, this, uh, Madam from Malibu deal, Vanessa and Matt may get hurt. Well, now, I care about them, but I don't want to see them get hurt. I like Vanessa and Matt, you know, but it's not your decision to make. What, are you just gonna steamroll over this, no matter who gets hurt? That isn't what I said. It's just not your call. We stand to lose everything we have must be another way. Well, let's talk to Matt and Vanessa, get it out in the open, then we'll decide what to do. Fine, I'll get him, I'll bring him back here. So you're not gonna yell? Uh, oh, what for? Stomp, stomp and mutter and all that. I yeah, thought hadn't occurred to me. Uh, Josh, um, I mean, you're, you're not mad that, that we were out here alone. 
Should I be? No, I was just wondering <laughs> why you weren't. Angry? Yeah. Well, I, you know, you want to put a fist through a wall and break a couple branches, that's what you'd like? No, I like you better this way. Well, good. You can use all that energy for something else. Ooh, do me a favor. What? Don't change a thing about yourself. It's changing right now. <laughs> you don't mean... <laughs> Just because a man says that he's not interested doesn't mean he's not. I mean, sometimes men like to watch before they make their move. Just put yourself in Rick's line of sight as much as Wait, possible. What do you mean, line of sight? What is that? Well, be wherever Rick is at. Okay. You know, doing different things. What things? Just be yourself. Wonderful, plain and simple. Okay. Don't worry, so far you float his boat. You think I should go sailing with him? Oh, no. No. I mean, he likes you. Okay. He really likes you. Okay. You just have to make him realize that. Is this what you did with your husband when you first started dating? Uh, no. No. But don't worry. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you look so happy together. Well, we are. The, the key is not to give up, even when the going gets tough. Men respond to persistence. Persistence. Well, now this may work for you, but do you really know Rick that well? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're friends. He deserves somebody nice like you. I, 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 I hope that it he works what? out. Deserves you. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you really think I have a chance with Rick? Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? What are you all talking about? Uh, I was just explaining to Abby what a country club was. Oh. I'm not doing very well, though. No, oh, you, you've come to the right man. Yeah. Yeah, cl clue my friend in. Well, th there's nothing mysterious about a country club. It's a place where rich people show up and suck up to each other. Uh, Brown nose. Socialize. You, you, oh. you, you, might, you might hear uh, something like... Uh, Worthington, Muffy is a fabulous girl, but if she goes to Harvard, she's going to ruin her life. She'll only take a couple of minutes. Wow, well, sounds serious. Is everything all right? Uh, it has to do with something uh, Amanda Spaulding said. So she just come with me, okay? There's one things, too, okay? This is carry, people carry these big bags on their shoulder with, with different size golf clubs. They hit this tiny little ball uh, from a starting point called it a tee, mm -hmm. and they try to get into this this real small hole that's underneath the ground. Like tea, tea, drinking tea, what? Tea, tea, teacup's fine. Yeah, like a teacup. And this is fun? <laughs> um, sometimes it is. Sometimes it's very competitive. People get very competitive, try to see who gets the lowest score. Oh, like a race? <laughs> no, 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 see, uh, it would, you take turns playing. Oh. Rick? Yes. <clears throat> Why don't you take Abigail for a walk on the golf course? That's a great idea. Uh, Abby, do you want me to teach you how to play golf? Okay. Yeah. You're really excited about that. Oh, I am. I am really excited. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, hungry, man. Come on, hungry. Hey, Eddie. How are you? <laughs> Have you seen Josh? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, well, no, I did a minute ago, but I guess he's gone. So, mm -hmm. how did everything go at the hospital? Oh, fine, fine. Well, it's a shame to let a beautiful evening like this go to waste, yeah. isn't it? I'm sorry I dashed out on you before. That's okay. <laughs> Want to make it up to me? How about a dance? It's all right. I'll just stand here in the corner. Sure. You can hold Why it first. Oh, that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. See you later. <laughs> What do you got there, Cleary? It's empty. There's nothing in here but air. This has to be over. It has to end. What has to be over, Mr. Thorpe? 
this harassment by the two of you. Now, he told you that nothing was in there, but you wouldn't listen to him. Your husband assaulted a police officer. Well, you're pushing him around. You, you know, you're supposed to be the good guys, You remember? know, nothing adds up here. We're going to take him in for court. Let go of me. Listen, I, all I want is to be left in peace. Why can't you do that? What is the matter with him? You're hassling him. That's what's the matter. Look, I'm not going to go with you. It's not up to you, Mr. Thorpe. I want my you lawyer. Can talk. You can talk. I want my lawyer. You didn't go quietly, or should we put you under arrest? Diana, tell him I don't want to go. You know what? I think it's better if you just go with him. You're going to make it worse if you no! don't. No! Honey, I'm sorry. Fine, I'll tell you what, man. We're well, going to do this our way. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Oh, uh, Diana, stop this. Sweetheart, I'm going to call you. I'm going to get you out of there as soon as I can, I promise. Do you have the keys of this truck? Um, yes, I do. I'm going to put the tarp back on here, and I'll meet you down at the you station. You better not be hiding anything. At 7.30 tonight. What do you think you were doing in there? Will you calm down, please? Well, you could have ruined everything, you know, showing yourself to Roger like that. It was dangerous, not to mention stupid. But it worked. I mean, the name of the game here is to make Roger think he's losing his mind, right? Now he does. Well, I think you've lost yours. When I sat up in that coffin and I looked at my father, I saw something that I have never seen before. The man was afraid. I mean, if you asked him if the sky was green, he'd be hard-pressed to give you an answer. I think he's close to the edge, if not over. Well, that's good. But it was still risky. You know, it was much too risky. Oh, risky. This coming from the woman who gave us the incredible vanishing scarf trick, right? What scarf in your hands, Roger? I don't see any scarf in your hands, Roger, as he was about to choke you with it. Well, I knew what I was doing. The hell you did. You had no idea you were going to be in that room so long with him. Could have done anything to you. Well, he could have shot you. You know... If there were bullets in the gun, he would have shot you the first time. So what do you think he's going to do when he finds out that this whole thing is a scam just to make him think he's crazy? Huh? He would kill you. Uh, I'm, I'm just scared for you, that's all. I have done nothing wrong. I shouldn't be here. Well, what's going on here? We brought Mr. Thorpe in for questioning. Unfortunately, we had to arrest him first. The charge? Assaulting an officer in the pursuance of his duty. The officer happens to be me. There have been a number of suspicious incidents occurring lately. I've got an anonymous tip to go to Laurel Falls. Once we got there, Clary detected a pickup truck, which happens to be Mr. Thorpe's. What were you doing there, Thorpe? I want my lawyer. Actually, he said he was bird watching. But we didn't see any birds. All we saw was a full-size, ready-to-use coffin underneath the tarp in the back of his pickup. Anybody in it? No. However, Mr. Thorpe's son, Hart Jessup, hasn't been seen in several days. I received a letter from Mr. Jessup stating that he feared that his father would harm him in some way. Well, it's my understanding that you uh, recently assaulted him. Weren't you arrested for that? It was a misunderstanding. You put an APB out on the sun, right? No, not yet. We've been looking for days for him, and nobody's seen him. Levy, come on. Pickup truck, casket. You know, my head is just brimming with all sorts of movie of the week scenarios. And uh, I was just wondering, it's got to be a perfectly logical explanation for this, right? All right. Okay. Big finish. Big finish. Well, Thank you so much. Thank you. And you know, now we're eating because it was me who was sitting in your toes this time. And you must be John because you didn't scream once. That's a few and toes between friends. <laughs> well, thank you again. Anytime. Oh, thanks for all the friends, Ross. It's such a beautiful night, isn't yes. it? Oh, I forgot to ask you, how do you like that new addition that Matt and Josh are? Well, the nursery. Yes. It's going to be fabulous. As a matter of fact, you should come over and see it. Well, I'll do that. I'll do okay. that. Holly, you look beautiful. Motherhood agrees with you, too. Thank you. <laughs> you look great yourself. Well, thank you. You have a wonderful smile. 
Yeah, you, you really do. You really oh. you don't see it often enough. What do you do? Just save it for Josh? <laughs> well, I save everything good for Josh. Good girl. Good. <laughs> yes. That's what be. Oh, Blake, she's over there. What are you doing way over there? Blake, over here, sweetheart. How can you abandon the most adorable man in the place? Oh, Annie, thank you. <laughs> uh, me abandon Ross? Never. Once I have you, I'm never letting you go. Well, darling. you better not, because if you do, there's going to be a line out the door ready to replace you. Your door, Annie. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Where's your other half? Oh, I don't know. He's around here somewhere. I don't keep tabs on him. Doesn't she look stunning? Whoa! She certainly does. Uh, you excuse me for just a second. Hey, buddy. Hi. I don't know. I didn't say anything. What's up? Something's up. You're not it's upset just... that I was dancing with your no, ex? No, 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 no. I have no problem with it at all. She just seems a little, uh, too up for me. Is there a problem with her being in a good mood? No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Just, I'm... When we were married, I uh, forget, never mind. She you was never what? in a good mood? <laughs> no, she was in a good mood. She's probably just having a great time. I'm just worried about nothing. Actually, you know what? I don't know her very well, but I think she may be overcompensating a little bit tonight. What, what do you mean by that? I saw something earlier. What? Reeve and Josh were out by the old tree. Man. Yeah, looking very comfy together. She saw it, too. She do. She was pretty upset. She took off. I think she's making a statement. I think she's saying that she's not going to let it get to her. Yeah, right. <clears throat> oh, sorry? Oh, sorry. I uh, filled Matt and Vanessa in a bit on the way over. So, there's a connection between you and Amanda? Yeah, I work for her. She ran a high-priced escort service. And you were one of her escorts? For a very short time, I quit. I was hoping I could put all this behind me, and then Amanda showed up here in town. Oh, that must have been rough. It wasn't easy, but Vanessa and I worked through it. It's over. It's in the past. Look, going public with this information about Amanda is just gonna hurt Vanessa. You realize well, that? Well, I hate doing it, you know? Well, then don't. Buzz, there's got to be another way to stop Alan's spawn. How, Joshua? You know, I don't really care how at this point. I care. Wait, I have to care. Excuse me. <laughs> Can I say anything here? I mean, if you're all thinking of backing down from Advantage Systems because of me, don't. You know what people will do with this. Yeah, I know, and I don't really care. I don't, because Alan has got to be stopped. You're not thinking this through, Vanessa. I don't need to. Everyone will have a field day with this. So let them. Let them say what they want. Really. Hey, Amanda can't hurt us. She can't. I know who you are. You know who I am. What about your kids, Vanessa? What about Peter and Bill? It can take kids a long time to get over things like this. Yeah, but Peter's so young. He won't know the difference. And, and Bill's been through much worse than this, and he's come through. He's great, and... He knows the kind of man you are, honey. Look, going through with with printing this information about Amanda, we know it's going to embarrass her, but we don't know that it's going to bring Advantage Systems down. Now, wait a minute. Alan's looking for investors right now to develop this street, right? Okay, yes. so he's very vulnerable right now. I mean, if, if one of these big clients that he wants to get lined up for this gets wind of this, I mean, they'll take a powder, Vanessa, right? So that sounds like a great plan, but... <sighs> I mean, is there something else? Do you do you not want to tell this for your own reasons? Because if you're just doing it for me, don't. I vote we use what we have. Don't you think you should sleep on this a bit? I don't need to sleep on it, really. I won't feel any differently in the morning. I mean, time's running out, right? It is. Okay, so I vote we go ahead. What, what do you say? If you're okay with it, then I'm with you. It's a very gutsy thing you're doing, Vanessa. Well, Alan's got to be stopped. Well, we really appreciate it. Thanks. He's a lot to me, doesn't he? To my 
whole family. Yeah, and that includes all of Fifth Street. Well, if it works, we'll uh, name an intersection after you. Or, uh, <laughs> a burger. Yeah. Uh, I no, burger. it's okay. I, 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 don't, I don't want a burger. I mean, I, I don't eat meat. So, <laughs> so we got a work to do. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank Good night. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. You are an extraordinary human being. Oh. I'll see you both Thanks. later. was throwing his very best charm at you. Throwing his charm? Oh, well, the compliments, his right. jokes, you know, all to get in range with his infamous Bauer smile. I saw that. I loved yeah, it. he was using it on you. And right. often, that's a very good sign. Oh, Rest is very easy. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, no, trust me. Okay. Just, just stay yourself. I mean, that's what attracted him in the first place. Okay. And, and remain strong, self-reliant the, the last thing Rick needs is a weak-willed dependent partner okay. just show him that you can handle yourself oh, I can usually most of the time I do oh oh most important laugh at his jokes the stupid ones as well as the good ones oh I do I, I think he's very funny yeah well <laughs> Don't be afraid to build his ego, because men really need to feel good about themselves. Right. Maybe you should be writing this down. Well, just, just do it sincerely okay. and do it often. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Okay, I think. Hello. What does a fellow have to do to dance with his wife or not? I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I didn't mean to be taking your time. No, no. It's, it's been very important, but uh, we'd love to dance. Oh, good. Oh, my. You took handsome pills, didn't you? You devil. Mm. You missed me. Frantically. Mm. I saw you playing uh, matchmaker for Abigail and Rick. Oh, really? Was it that obvious? Not to the untrained eye. Oh, meaning Rick couldn't tell, right? Rick? Rick doesn't have a clue. Good, because we don't want to scare him. Honey, just because he couldn't have you doesn't mean you have to find him a replacement. I just want everyone to have what we have. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you see Abigail? Who would have guessed that she was the same man? Yeah. Same girl that we met in the hospital, fresh from Goshen. She looks beautiful. Well, she's always been very pretty. Mm -hmm. So do you think she'd mind if you and I danced together? No, I don't think she'd mind. It's just, uh, can I take a rain check? Sure. Here you go. Maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. So how are your toes? Good. Ready for another mashing? Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi Josh. So how are you doing? How are you? Good to see you. I've been having the most wonderful evening. Yeah? Good. Where have you been? Uh, just talking uh, Fifth Street stuff with uh, Reva and Buzz and so Oh, something happened? He looks so beautiful. No, nothing happened. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to dance with my gorgeous wife. Good, because your wife wants to dance with her handsome husband. Well, I guess everything's fine after all. Yeah, just fine. This is crazy and dangerous. Yeah, yeah, um, I know. It's, uh, anybody could come by and, and see you. Um, or the, even the police could even come back. Are you going to go to the police station? I think I'm gonna go back to the penthouse and maybe wait for Roger to call me there. I don't think you're gonna go anywhere. <sighs> to tell you a thing. Why not, Mr. Thorpe? What are you hiding? What made you attack my partner? Excuse me. Leo! Thank God! Detective, you're interviewing my client without his loyal present? Now, oh. you know better than that. Come on, Flynn, keep your shirt on. We're just trying to straighten a few things out, mm -hmm. like why your client assaulted one of my officers. Because they were searching my property illegally. Actually, to be a little bit more specific here, I was checking out a coffin in the back of his rental pickup. Coffin? Wow. It was empty. I told them, but they wouldn't listen. Now, 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 Mr. Thorpe, we're just trying to get to the bottom of these things. As are we. 
Would you like to explain to your attorney why you had a casket? Sure, I'll explain to my attorney, but it's none of your business. Roger. You know, Mr. Thorpe, one would think you'd be cooperating your socks off right now because putting up all this resistance only makes us much more suspicious. And being that your son's been gone you for a number no of days... You have no body, therefore you have no crime. Now, either you charge my client with assaulting a police officer or you let him go, one or the other. My client, may I remind you, happens to own WSPR, and your decision, I assure you, will receive a fair amount of publicity. Detective... Book him. It's my pleasure. May I have a moment with my client, please? Yeah, but not a second more. Come on. A coffin? What the hell were you doing with a coffin, Roger? Just get me out of here. Not right away. I won't be able to get a judge to set bail till tomorrow morning. Oh, come on. As soon as the bail is set, I'll be back. Fancy hotel room in Paris. <laughs> you deserve the best. I just want to be right here. Right where I am, right here with you. Are you sure? forever good and as long as I have my three guys nothing can hurt me you sound pretty sure of yourself <laughs> I guess I am you know 
for one of those corporate types, you... You seem to have an awful lot of faith. And love. And love. Mm. Especially for one of those nasty old corporate types. <laughs> well, don't worry. I think that I'm going to keep you around. Thank you. 